Starting on that beautiful note, that song was composed by Short Prophet. Um, very soon he will join us once again to really tell us his excitement. Uh, yes, Short Prophet. Uh, when you see, you understand. Uh, he, he composed that song. I remember the videos you saw are the fresh pictures. The Black Stars are in Abidjan now. They trained last night. Uh, warm up session to really get ready for Afcon 2023. Um, a lot is happening in the camp, and everybody is talking about the Afcon until today. Uh, our countdown continues and uh, if you look at me i'm wearing k sports shirt um we're talking about um this coming up on and uh paraphernalia sales what will make you look uh, unique other countries are coming to abidjan with a unique identity everybody's trying to prove that my culture is here and there there are so many replica jerseys around but there is one that is a standout one that's the case, Paul. So what I'm wearing, I have some here, and uh, it's a unique one. I have the CEO himself who is trying to push this campaign that there is this strong identity about Ghana. Yes, we have our Kinte, we have our Fugu stuff, we have our various things. But when it comes to the replica jersey, it's like everybody wants to wear the black star shirt. So what happens to the black queens and the babies, princesses, our basketball team? So there should be one identity, one unique one that you can wear any day that will fit the day, be it Monday, Tuesday, any other day so if you are the banks anywhere that you really want some corporate shirts really to really reflect the day i think that you need to get in touch with case for so kwame is in the house a freshman kwame kwame most welcome thank you i, I know you you are sitting down i uh, think you should do your small small calculations the afghan is just here the president gave a message you listen to the message but since you let me take your first thought uh uh president says it's possible you think it's possible god what is happening <laughs> so you also believe you also believe that the stars can uh, rewrite history we, we can we can we can just that our planning is an issue but we can we can still make an you impact. still believe that we should have done a little bit there well. should be at uh, least we should, we should have a lot of things put in place but for me let's go there now and then when we come back if for me there's a possibility of winning okay. if we don't get it at least we, we should get closer to the uh the last four last four Okay, so um, the president, before leaving, uh, hosted them to a dinner in Kumasi. This is the message the president gave them. And so we'll quickly go to Kumasi, bring you a flashback of the message that the president gave them. And I'll come to Kwame, and then we'll, we'll talk about how to really hype um, or increase the euphoria surrounding this Afghan in Accra because it is in Abidjan outside our show. So we can even walk to Abidjan. So when you are going, you have something that everyone knows that this is Ghana. And so let's go to Kumasi. And then listen to what the president had to tell the players and the technical team and the FA itself about bringing the trophy back home. Last time the Black Stars brought the cup back home, the fourth occasion, was 1982. 40 years ago next year. The target over the next four weeks is to bring the cup home next year by winning AFCON 23 for the fifth time. We have to go a step further than the second places recorded in 1968, 1970, 1992, 2010, and 2015, and bring the 41 year drought to an end. The task might appear daunting, but it is possible. We are Ghanaians, the First Nations south of the Sahara to be free of colonialism and imperialism. We always lead the way. We do not sit back and watch others. 
We have a skillful, determined squad. Let us not put brakes on them. And let us not park the bus. Unleash them. Trust them. And I'm confident. Let me repeat it. Unleash them. Trust them. And I'm confident that we will make strike terror into the hearts of any team we face. Let us make the Black Star shine and shine again in Abidjan. I thank you. The last time the Black Stars brought the cup back home, the fourth occasion, was 1982. 40 years ago next year. The target over the next four weeks is to bring the cup home next year by winning AFCON 23 for the fifth time. We have to go a step further than the second places recorded in 1968, 1970, 1992, 2010, and 2015, and bring the 41-year drought to an end. The task might appear daunting, but it is possible. We are Ghanaians, the first nation south of the Sahara, to be free of colonialism and imperialism. We always lead the way. We do not sit back and watch others. We have a skillful, determined squad. Let us not put brakes on them, and let us not park the bus. Unleash them, trust them, and I'm confident. Let me repeat it, unleash them. Trust them, and I'm confident that we will make strike terror into the hearts of any team we face. Let us make the Black Star shine and shine again in Abidjan. So that's the president, uh, very, very confident and really charging, uh, just like, you know, he's the commander in chief of the Ghana Armed Forces. And so currently, those going on the battlefield are the Black Stars. So their Armed Forces uh, are next. And so he has charged them that they should go for it, trust them, make sure that they, they, they strike terror uh, on our opponents. The first game, they need to win at all costs. Kwame, um, <laughs> the president is really, really very, very confident. Irrespective of the challenges, he's still urging the boys on. Such a spirit, what really does it do to uh, a team and their morale? Thank you. You see, He's the president of the nation. And for me, when the president speaks, it's like you go into school and your father sits you down and says, okay, my son, I want you to go and make me proud. Mm. It, it boosts your morale, mm. it gives you confidence. Whenever you sit on the book and you are studying, you know that one, you study for yourself, number two, you study for your dad, mm. because you need to make your, uh, your dad proud. Mm. And it's a value, it's a serious value the president has given to the place, that you take it up and die for the country. Oh. Now, let's come back to you uh, you and your team. Um, why, why are you bringing this new identity, this new culture? What's so unique about paraphernalia that you feel that we've got into a stage that one should be a standout? Tell me. I'm, I'm wearing one. I want you to explain to Ghanaians. This is the coat of arms. Thank you. Uh, for the coat of arms, it was made purposely for government officials. We have the star one which other people could wear mm. but you working at gbc being one of the best post personalities in the country i'm humbled yeah you, you deserve to have uh the coat of arms representing ghana because it speaks for ghana Whoa. for I'm us humble. for us you see we've come to a stage that like you rightly said when you were starting your conversation that ghana everything is about black stars mm. But for us, everything is about sports. Mm. There's a difference between black stars and there's a difference between sports. Okay. Black star is a, one umbrella of a football. Okay. Which probably uh, it doesn't even cover other teams that the GFA controls it. But there are other disciplines as far as sports is concerned. We have basketball, we have tennis, we have volley, we have boxing, everything. We don't have a peripheral for it. So K sports taught it likewise that look it is time we must have something unique 
So we call it Ghana Sports Jersey. So okay. it is not the Black Stars jersey. Ghana Sports jersey. Ghana Sports so jersey. So we have we have some here, uh, other replicas here. So this is white that I am wearing. I'm yeah. wearing the white one. I can see a yellow one here as well. Yes. So you, well, what colors are out there for somebody? We, we, for now, we have it. Uh, we, have, we try to do in the colors of Ghana. Okay. The colors of Ghana, we have red, gold, green. Okay. Uh, with a Black Star, which is the black. Okay. And uh, Ghana, we like white. Okay. So we decided to uh, add the white. Okay. So you there can, is red. There's, there's red, gold. The, there's green. There's green. And now you've added white to it. Yes. Wow. For this, um, I have used it for a while now. Uh, in terms of its quality, tell me more about its quality and durability because it looks different from the ones that are on the shelves that are being sold. Okay. Thank you. You see, what you are wearing, you are wearing the branded, the original products. Okay. What you see in the market, they are fake products of, let's say, Puma. Okay. Let's say Nike. Look, how much is a false shirt? A false shirt probably will cost you more than 100, 150 CDs. So if you go and buy a replica jersey for 100 CDs, 120 CDs, 150 CDs, it means you are buying fake. And why, how would you work at a bank? and buy a shirt, a sportswear jersey for 100 Ghana cities. Right there, you should know that you are not buying something quality. I, are you trying to say that if the thing is expensive, it is quality? It is, you see, I'm not associating price to quality. Okay. Look, this case sports you, you are wearing, you will get the price between 300 to 500 cities, depending on who you are buying from. But it's the most quality you can find. Puma, Replica jersey of Black Stars. I have been sold over 2,000 cities. So if so you go... Yeah, so if the average Ghanaian wants to just feel part of the Black Stars and so cannot get that 200, 300 cities... Go and buy a material and take it to a tailor <laughs> for him to sew for you. No, but why would you want to wear something that you are not buying from the original source? Look, if you have interest in something, you invest in it. Okay. Let us begin to invest in what we like most. Okay. Start doing savings. Okay. That look, I'm a Liverpool fan. Okay. Me, I'm for the Reds. Okay. I'm for Liverpool. I'm for Kotoko. Oh, okay. Okay. If I have to spend money and buy Kotoko replica jersey or Liverpool jersey, you do. I will do my savings so I get money that I can buy it. I don't have to go and buy 120 jersey. I and mean, when you wash it, then the colors. Not even clean. wash it. Look. <laughs> If somebody comes in and try to replicate GBC, <laughs> go and be in a small corner and set the channel and say, uh, I'm a GBC person, and you, how would you feel? <laughs> if, right. uh, last time, look, I asked, I, I questioned somebody who works at the bank. I said, look, you work in the prestigious bank, and you want to buy a replica jersey for 120 cities. Okay, so on that note, so where do we get some of these? Shirts? You can buy it from me and me alone. <laughs> Kwame. Kwame, Ghana is big. Um, Ghana is big. Currently, my friends in Tamale, after the Kukato, are getting ready to go to Abisha. When they By Sunday, they will get there. They will can get some in Cote d'Ivoire. I'll be in Cote d'Ivoire. You'll be in Cote d'Ivoire. I'm going to be in Cote d'Ivoire. You see, look, uh, I don't want you to buy case sports when they come out and tell me you got in it as fake. The cost of doing this is more than how much if you try to replicate it in fake. Okay. Therefore, I want you to wear the original. Look, the cost, if I were to sell it the original market price, it would be more than 500 cities. Mm -hmm. But I want Ghanaians to taste quality. Okay. So that I'm making it affordable. So if my friends who work at uh, the banks, I have plenty of friends at various banks, as they watch me now, and they feel that, okay, they shed us. Okay, they, they want uh, enough. Do you have enough? Let's say uh, five banks, look at how big they are. Universal, and they want to buy and then distribute to the. I can even brand it for them. <laughs> so I'm asking, do you have enough that that they can get? I will provide for them, and I will brand it for them. If you work in Bank A, and you want or GBC want to say, okay, we want to get it for all our our staff, so that we're Ghana for this tournament, we will put GBC in front. Okay. For people to know that GBC is supporting, supporting Ghana sports. Ghana sports. Okay. So uh, the last time I saw you give some of these justice to you went to the seat of government and you did. Yeah. Now they all have Afghanistan. What is your prediction, really? 
the president has charged them to go and bring the trophy. You, you earlier on said, okay, I want them to at least, if they will not bring their trophy, they should finish in the top four. We will start from the group stages. What are you expecting in the group stages? First game, second game. Second game is Egypt. Yeah. Uh, first game. So what are you expecting? For me, it's all win out. Win throughout. Hey, Kwame. <laughs> you see, Ghanaians, you are afraid of Egypt. But I'm telling you... But we beat Egypt 6-1 here. That's what I'm saying. For your surprise, Egypt's match is going to be the most easiest match. Aye. We may find tough match with Mozambique or Kevin. Mm. But we still will still true. Wow, but, I like but Egypt. But Egypt will be the easiest. Okay. And so, because of this, uh, when they were leaving Kumasi, Stone Boy... Stone Boy's friend is some of the Black Star players, especially Kudus. So Stone Boy was in Kumasi to really treat the boys to um, some of his rendition. So as we check out from the studio, if you really, okay, so they go on uh, the website, they can get you right to really yes. get in touch with you. I'll put my number also out there. Okay, go yeah. and do it fast so that we, we go to Kumasi and then enjoy uh, uh, Stone Boy. So how do they get you? Okay, if you want to get me, uh, you can call me 0244. Four zero six six five three. Okay, zero remember four 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 zero six six five three. Remember that GTV will be showing the Afcon free to air. Our directors have informed us that if you want to watch this Afcon, don't pay a CD to watch the Afcon. Don't pay to watch Afcon. Watch it on GBC. It is free. GBC don't pay. GTV Sports Plus, Obonu TV, Garden City TV, uh, Radio Commentary, or Unique FM. Please, we are not paying. If any channel is saying that before you watch the Afcon, pay. Please, don't watch that. Please. Watch it on GBC. GBC. We don't pay. Don't pay to watch AFCON. That's AFCON in Cote d'Ivoire. Don't pay any money to watch. And say, okay, I want to watch. So you need to go and buy a dish or something. No. Just get on to GTV. All the matches, 54 matches, crystal clear, live. Everything about the AFCON, you get it on all GBC platforms. So we beg of you, tell somebody to tell somebody. Don't pay to watch AFCON. Just watch it for free on GTV. So Kwame, we say thank you very much. Uh, everybody will hear. And then we start wearing this to make Ghana uh, very, very proud. Everybody will be happy. But what I want to tell Ghana is that yes. always watch GTV because K Sports is going to partner with GTV and bring something special this year. Okay. That everybody, sports fan, from the pra uh, basic one to, to uh, SSS3, we are bringing a serious program to, on GTV. So watch Okay. GTV so always. you watch it. So let's enjoy Stone Boy Small as we check out from the studio. This is how he bid them farewell at the dinner. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah